Okay, Mr. Kitabi, my name is Khurshid from Uncle K Library TV and Radio. Very nice to meet you. Thank you very much. And we broadcast on the web, so it's watched throughout the world. Anybody can just go on their mobile and they can watch us and see us. Okay. So we, once we finish, we'll be giving you the URL of the video. You okay. can download it and you can use it for your company. Okay. Uh, first of all, the thing which intrigued me, pistachio is pistachio. Yes. And, of course, Iran is known for pistachio. Correct. What intrigued me is the name Kitabi. How did you get that name? Well, it's an Iranian name. No, but Kitabi means... Uh, it's a book. Kutub. It's a book, Books. yes. Yeah. yes. So, are you a, read, a very well-read man? You, uh, well, uh, originally in the family, uh, there were scripts, they were writing books. Okay. And this is why uh, this became the name of uh, the family in the city of Esfahan in Iran. Okay, so your family was like authors and writing books? Yes, author, correct. Or publishing books? I don't know about publishing books because it's a very old name, okay. but there were scripts, at least they were the people who were writing because everybody didn't know how to write okay. a thousand years ago. So uh, those people were the ones uh, writing. Uh, you the know, learned ones there. Yes, yes words. they were very the people good. with the knowledge. Good with <laughs> Very good. Now, uh, pistachio, two things come to my mind. It's a very good fruit, although it's hot, not for this climate. It's good. You know, nature has a way of giving you the right thing at the right place. Yes. For a cold country like Iran, yes, pistachio is good. But for a hot country in Dubai, it makes you crazy, especially at 12 min in the afternoon. You may be yes. having too many pistachios. It's a very good fruit, but conservation, what do you do with the shells which, when they peel this? Are they of any use anywhere for recycling? Yes, first first the pistachio is a, is a, is a fruit from desert. Okay. It is not from cold area. It is a fruit from the desert but not the humid desert like in Dubai. It comes from the desert area in Iran, which is high altitude desert where the days are very hot and the nights are very cold. <coughs> so it's a very strong tree. It doesn't require a lot of water and that's why it has grown in areas uh, which are, uh, have a, you know, a, a little, little rain. Like desert you mentioned, yeah. arid it, area. Arid area, correct. Okay. Now the, the shell, of course, I mean, uh, I mean, the pistachios are sold for snacking with their shell so that people are busy opening and eating it so it's a very convivial and uh, it's a, we call it the happy nut actually in Chinese the right name uh, is happy nut is uh, the name for pistachio that's how they call it and uh, in order to make the kernels indeed we break the shell and the shell are used for many different uh, issues such as uh, briquettes for heating uh, it's wood, you know, so it's used as wood for, uh, for energy uh, as well as beddings, powder is made with the shell, used as beddings for animals in countries where there is not much water, you cannot use hay, so they use a pistachio shell as a powder for bedding, so and that the cow, be, cows and, uh, can sleep on them. Can it also be used as a building material mixed with the cement and all? It has can not it because it's wood and uh, I w we have not seen such usage yet. Okay, all right. Now, I'm sorry, you, I'm taking you off the track. I should no be problem. talking about the statues, not yeah. the shells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, what? You are a real private exporter, or you're connected to the government of Iran? No, this has got nothing to do with the government of Iran. We are okay. a fully private company. Uh, we are an international company with offices throughout the world in many different countries. We have offices in, in Dubai, Stockholm, in Greece, in. Uh, Germany, uh, etc., and in Iran, of course, and uh, we have in Iran produ production facilities, and we have also orchards, production, trees, uh, so we control the whole chain from the tree all the way down to the industrial consumer. When you say you have orchards there, are they your own or are you doing a contract? We both. Uh, we have a ownership, some of, our, the, some of the owners of the company have orchards uh, in large quantities, and uh, also we have contract with growers to farm their land and uh, also we buy from farmers uh, you know fresh from the tree and uh, we control the whole process uh, you're taking me to a i mean my imagination is expanding with the knowledge yeah, sure. you're giving when you say some of the company owners have their own orchard yes so they have, it is their private orchard it is their and private they're contributing to the company is Absolutely. it like a cooperative management system you it have. could look sound like a cooperative it is not a cooperative okay. it's technically speaking okay. but yes indeed there is the ownership most of the owner of the company have uh, ownership of land and trees 
uh, and they bring the production of those trees into the company. So how did they become part of the company? Do you take partnership, investments, stakeholders? Yeah, well, you know... Or they were just, just a family business? Well, they used to be family business, but, uh, you know, I've been in this business for 25, 27 years, actually. Oh, okay. And uh, so in, within this period of time, you make a lot of friends, a lot of relationship. Uh, you make a lot of business through the course of the years and uh, good people get together for a venture and this is what we have done to get all the, uh, the the control from the tree all the way to the consumer all under one roof and this is what the pistachio company is all about when you say you make a lot of friends and business of course when you're gifting pistachios to people they will become your friends yes, <laughs> you have the best gift to give to them yeah no it is really a gift it's a gift of god really these nuts because it i don't know in the so many years I have been in this business, I have never met somebody that tells me I don't like pistachios. This is a nut that everybody likes. Exactly. Especially in ice cream and uh, In ice cream, or... in sweets, uh, in snack. It's consumed only for happy moments. So that's why I like the Chinese name for the pistachio, is, which is, is a happy is, nut. You are giving me a secret now. Is that the reason Iranians are so happy? Yeah, maybe that's one reason. They eat a lot of pistachios. <laughs> no, thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, it was wonderful talking to you. Thank you, you very so much. Very nice to learn. And then, you have any packaging and all? Pictures? No, because we, are, we supply raw material to industry. Okay. We supply the chocolate industry, the confectionery industry, the bakery industry, so the ice not cream. Branded anything, any no, our package. brand is an industrial brand. We okay. supply, you know, our unit when we sell is a container. Okay. I mean, we have a, we, actually, we have the largest capacity in Iran. From far, and, and just last one last. Yes. One. What is the shelf life of this product? It depends how it is stored, but uh, pistachio can. And how it's can packed? Be, how it's packed? Have to rob yeah, it, pistachio can last for two years. It's a dried okay. fruit. So it doesn't get any fungus or anything. If it's packed properly uh, with the nitrogen, in the, you know, uh, in the package, in the packaging, it will not move. I thought it was just vacuum packed. Or do you have to? No vac nitrogen? vacuum. Also nitrogen, anything that takes oxygen out, okay. either by vacuum or by inclusion of, of nitrogen. Okay. This is how you, you maintain the roasted pistachio. If the pistachio is raw, it can be in the air, as long as the humidity is controlled, it can last also for two years like this. Like an air conditioned room? Yeah, like in, a, yeah, in air condition or a dry area. As it is not the heat that causes problem for pistachio, it is the humidity. Okay. So it's just to prevent from humidity and then the pistachio will last. For, uh, for as long so as I get your point. It's very nice, I and mean, I mean, it's information for people who want to be into this business. Yes. And we'll be giving your contact on the card which we I have, and people who want to contact, they can contact. I will be with once pleasure. Once it is broadcast, because now we have, we have to collect all these and edit them. Yes. We are not doing live broadcast. Yes. Okay. So once it is on this uh, YouTube and other places, you will get the URL. Okay. And you can download for your. Account. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.